Welcome back to week 43 of the Iron Man Road to Completion Escape series. I'm back after just taking a week off and uh, yeah, already back into the Dungeoneering grind. I'm gonna go ahead and spend these tokens that I collected up this morning and uh, go turn in a daily challenge uh, for the level. Yeah, I'm gonna be picking up 116 at Dungeoneering right off the bat. Um, and, uh, according to my little spreadsheet, I only have to play, like, four hours a day to comp before the Minipos requirements come out. So, uh, I'm feeling pretty good, especially considering uh, four hours a day is really... I, I, I at least double that uh, most days. So, yeah, there's 116. Uh, got 34 mil left to go now, and uh, might work on some invention later today. Feel like doing some combat instead of just dungeoneering all day again. Especially with 7.2 mil to the next level, because those numbers are getting quite daunting. As I said yesterday, I have more than enough time to comp, so I figure I may as well uh, work on this other thing. It kind of matters for my account, the Minifos reputation. Uh, so I've been doing fish vention all day um, onto my third rod, uh, but it's actually my last fishing rod omatic so I'm just going to be siphoning it from now on. You see I have a big stack of uh, 29 siphons over here in my inventory, uh, so I might just stay here for a little while. It takes a long time to be able to siphon a fishing rod omatic um, but, you know, I'm short on invention parts uh, or components, and uh, I don't have many augmenters left, uh, so I'll probably stay here for a while. Uh, until I actually have enough augmenters to just knock out the rest of my invention with combat. Uh, so yeah, I might be here for another day or two. Uh, just continuing to do this shark head thing. And uh, luckily, I'm getting pretty high on Minifos reputation. I'm about halfway there. Uh, see, Fight Club is at 254k. Uh, the last thing's at 330k, and I'm currently at uh, 159. So uh, yeah, it's going pretty well. And, uh, you know, getting some drops from Implings what not. Uh, yeah, I'm also like 101 fishing now. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Next time you see a clip, it's probably gonna be an invention level, and then maybe another. So I have been doing this fishing thing, like, all day today, and I finally made it high enough so that I can do this little siphon thing for like the second time, and I disassembled one more. I basically earned uh, 160,000 uh, tool XP today, so about two siphons worth. Uh, bam! There we go. There's another invention level 116. And uh, yeah, just gonna keep doing this thing. It's like 3 a.m., so I'm going to bed. Uh, but I'll be back at this tomorrow. I'm also getting really high on rep, up to 187k. Uh, so yeah, I should be able to unlock uh, Fight Club tomorrow. I might go all the way for the Magic Carpet Skilling buff before I stop Fish Vention here, though. And um, maybe I'll be able to move on to another uh, district, go back to Imperial and start leveling that one up. But we'll see, and uh, I'll probably start back on Dungeoneering in a few days. And in case you're wondering why I'm not, uh, you know, rushing the Dungeoneering thing, it's uh, entirely because of the daily challenges. They're worth like 330,000 right now, uh, so every single day that passes, that's another 1% of what I have left uh, going to 120. So. You know, if I'm going to play for another about two weeks, I want to take advantage of, like, all of those extra uh, Dungeoneering dailies uh, instead of just trying to push all that, push out all the XP today and, uh, you know, get it knocked out, like, by the end of the week, which I probably could. Um, yeah, trying to stay a little bit efficient, because the only thing I'd get after that are Slayer dailies, and I'm not going for 120 Slayer, at least. That's not something I'm planning on doing, so, uh, yeah, that's kind of a waste. I'll just stick to DG. On to the next day, I've been working on some Slayer, and uh, this is my second Ascension member's task of the day. It's that actually the task I had to start the day off, and, um, oh yeah, actually, earlier today I had to do some fishing, you know, fish pension. Uh, yeah, so I just ran through some of my keys uh, for the two Ascension, well, aside from the two Ascension members that I already have signets for, are the two uh, Legions. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I did uh, three more runs of Primus, six more of Secundus, uh, two more of Quintus, and one of Sextus. And, yeah, no signets or anything. That's, like, all of the loot down there. The Addy Ores from looting. Um, or, 
what's it what's it called not looting uh the other perk yeah no yeah looting yeah okay so yeah just another 12 keys down the drain i'm still at three uh total signets though which is like really good but i did say uh in the past that i would like try to keep track of them uh, so this is just for reference if people are wondering burn through some more keys told you the counts there you go Okay, I'm getting this on uh, recording because I think this is the second time it's happened to me. I didn't know how valuable it was the first time, so I just skipped the task. Uh, but it's a gemstone dragon task, and apparently these are really good Slayer XP. Uh, and decent drops, uh, maybe a place to use my dragon stones, but I think I have to have them uncut, which is a problem. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this task, basically, uh, just to prefer it. And, uh, yeah, prefer that, and I will cancel it, because I don't think I can actually do the task now. <laughs> uh, I need to get some, some dragon stones, but, uh, yeah, it's, it, at least it's on my prefer list. As it turns out, you can do gemstone dragons, uh, while on a slayer task, even if you don't have the gemstones. Uh, the gemstones are only required to be turned in, uh, if you're trying to kill them off task, so... Bam, that's a small correction, and uh, the next clip will show why. And on to the next day, uh, as I was able to show yesterday, I uh, preferred a gemstone dragon task, and uh, yeah, already got another one. And bam, there's a Slayer level 103, which is cool, I guess. It adds to my total level at least, shows that I'm gaining XP, and I'm getting quite close to being able to, um, well, siphon those i mean they're about 2000 xp away which is probably only a few kills here because these guys have so much hp uh and uh then be able to siphon my uh augmented chaotic crossbows before too long um yeah so the invention gains are coming along it's just uh you know it takes so long to be able to siphon a single piece of gear um uh, yeah so it's all kind of building up and all the xp drops will happen soon yeah, so I'm now about 20 kills into this task, and I can definitely see why people call this the best task in the game, or at least one of them. Uh, it has really good drops, uh, especially for Iron Men, because those are going to be some good invention components uh, from all of the, uh, the ring drops. And, um, yeah, you know, they have good alchemals. Uh, everything has a really good GE value, and they give, like, 5,000... Uh, Slayer XP per kill. It's it's actually like 4768, I think, is the number. That's about to be a drop right here, so I can uh, see. Yeah, 4768. But that's insane. Uh, if you were getting one kill every single minute, that's like, um... What? Uh, I can't think right now. Is that... It's like 250k an hour or something like that? Or no, almost 300k an hour. And that's for one kill a minute, where I'm getting uh, probably a kill every 30 seconds, which easily doubles it. And uh, you could probably push it even further with better gear. Um, yeah, this is just... it's great. I uh, love that the task is going to take forever and give me a good XP rate the entire time. And some random fireworks just told me I got 20 million XP in range now. Uh, even though that's strangely off... Yeah, that's right. My ranged is off by like 11k on that counter. It's so weird. Um, I swear, I thought I started all of this stuff like as soon as I started leveling. I let it just track my XP, but apparently I reset it after getting 11k ranged XP or something. Uh, yeah, fun. Okay, they must have changed the weighting on these gemstone dragons. I just finished the task came back to Morvran, you can see it in the chat box, 320 tasks in a row. I got one last night to prefer, then I got one today, and one again, back to back. Some people have said they experienced zero going from like, I don't know, 60 mil XP? They were going through like 60 million XP and they didn't get a single one, and I just got two in a row, and one yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I am not complaining at all, but that is incredible right there. And, uh, yeah, so I just siphoned my Armadale chain skirt. I let it go, like, almost 20,000 XP over. I wasn't noticing just how much XP those uh, Hydrixes were given, or uh, the Hydrix, Hydrix dragons 
we're giving. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep doing this. Uh, I may go do some fishing for a little bit since, uh, you know, of course I'm going to confirm that task. Uh, since the scavenging perk has gotten me a few swift components, it'll allow me to make another fishing rod. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually getting, like, shadow components and stuff like that, too, which are pretty lucky. I never disassembled any of this stuff, but there's a Vernick, Shadow, Undead, and I got two Nox components over here. It's pretty good stuff, but the, uh, the Swift are especially good, as well as the powerful and enhancing that I've been getting, uh, because those fund more augmenters, and they fund more uh, fishing rods. So, I've been doing that fish vention thing, and was uh, playing Overwatch on my other screen. Uh, just started a round doing attacks, so there was like no way in hell I could click over or uh, make a clip, nothing like that. But man, I just got bubbles! There we go. I have unlocked another pet. I don't even know how many that is now. Uh, let's see. Pets? Skilling pets? Uh, I should uh, hide the rest. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them? And I'm missing, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Yeah. Yeah, there's, or, twenty-one. I guess that sounds right. Maybe not. Okay, well, that's how many I have. I'm happy. I now have bubbles. I'm going to set that as the overwrite and into the menagerie. There we go. Perfect. And, uh, back to this fish vention thing. Nice. And we're on to day 299. Going to be disassembling this fishing rod. It's the last one I have. Which means I probably shouldn't disassemble it, but, you know, oh well. Whatever. I will take the invention level. And I was kind of hoping for Malcolm. Hopefully I'll get it before 120, actually. Uh, which is about 7.7 .7 mil away. Um, but, you know, if I don't, I guess it's totally fine to leave some things unaccomplished. Like... Uh, I do have some skills to 99 that I didn't get the pet in, like Willow and Ace and Baba Yaga. Rue? Yeah. Okay, uh, back to more Slayer, and uh, gonna keep doing that invention. And ending off the day, I've been doing some uh, mining over here at Saren Stones, just for skill vention purposes. Uh, I already did a full augmented crystal pickaxe and another uh, quarter of one. Uh, just doing this is you know, kind of a relaxed thing, really. And, uh, just as a little bit of a teaser, I just started downloading the, uh, game I believe I'm moving on to after RuneScape. So, uh, yeah, I might keep, uh, teasing that in the coming weeks, because hopefully the series will be done, um, uh, probably about week 45. Sounds right. Uh, yeah. Stay tuned. Oh, and it's an absolutely huge download, like 50 gigs um, considering having to buy a new SSD just to put it on it because uh, my current 120 gig is not gonna work. And on to the big day 300. I've uh, been chilling here doing mining all day today, just working on uh, invention. I actually haven't had that many hours, uh, but I have been able to get a siphon complete and uh, working on another. It's almost done. And I uh, just thought I should make a clip for this nice little uh, mining level that's gonna come up. It's a um, invisible level, virtual level, yeah. Uh, but with uh, two more picks, one more, it will pop. There it is. Uh, that's 106. Yeah. Cool. So I am making progress. You can see I've got like 4k corrupted ore here. Um, fun. Uh, just going to keep using up these uh, siphons. I'm uh, trying to avoid doing any more Slayer, uh, though I will have to eventually, uh, just because I, I want to keep getting these uh, delve into Damonheim challenges. Uh, so I'm totally fine with just doing Skillvention. Like I said, I am playing another game, trying it out, and, uh, you know, getting getting the hang of it. Um, don't worry, I'll be making a fresh account once I actually make a series over it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fun so far. I am quite enjoying it. So, uh, yeah, these skill vention gains will continue, and uh, I'll see you guys at the invention level, probably. Uh, it's only about three more siphons to go. Also, 300 days? That sounds absolutely absurd, um, especially given how many weeks have gone into this. 
you know, there's only there's only 52 in a year, so I guess I am getting pretty close to that. But, you know, comping in like 45 weeks still feels really good to me. Yeah, we're on to the next day, last day of the week. Doing a little siphon here for, bam, 118 invention? Yeah, that's right. And uh, these last 10 siphons here in my inventory will actually finish invention for me or get quite close to it. Uh, yeah, so that's the plan for now. Uh, just going to keep doing this. We'll probably get another siphon off tonight and then more over time. I also took a break to do some dungeoneering earlier today and... Uh, Hopefully, I'll be able to finish Dungeoneering next week, Invention next week, and then I've got uh, Livid Farm, and uh, yeah, what's that other thing called? Dominion Tower left to go, and uh, then, hey, there's the comp cape, assuming I can find some people that will carry me through those group bosses, but I'm sure I will, and if you're willing to, just uh, leave a comment down below, I am looking for uh, some help there. Uh, just to be clear, that's BM, uh, Yakamaro, uh, Nex, Nex Angel of Death. Well, I'll probably be able to solo normal Nex, honestly. Um, and then there's uh, Virago, and uh, Rise of the Six. And I think that's all the group bosses uh, that I have to do. Uh, then I do the Rush of Blood, and the um, the other Morvran thing, the the dark crystal thing that makes bosses harder, where I have to kill a Raxi and like seven other things. Yeah, so uh, that's the plan. And since it is getting fairly late, I'm going to be calling it an end for this week. That's uh, week number 43. I'm um, doing pretty well in mining, actually getting pretty close to 107. And uh, the invention gains are coming along, I'm getting really close to that uh, additional... Uh, siphon, which would be my first siphon into the level, um, but, you know, it's pretty late and uh, I need to get up early in the morning to edit this video together and upload it, uh, hopefully on time. Uh, yeah, so next week the goals are, um, well, to finish up Invention and get out at least half of that Dungeoneering and then work on uh, the other comp requirements a little bit. I'm not too worried about knocking out all of the dungeoneering just yet because, um, well, it's still getting me 330k a day from the daily challenges. So I want to do those as long as I can, and that's probably going to be how I end up comping, just turning in a daily challenge for dungeoneering and finishing things off that way. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of this week. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm glad to be back, and uh, I'm actually really excited about this other game that I've been playing. Um, I think you'll all like it quite a bit too. Uh, just made up the thumbnails and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.